in my survival kit or the number resource pack should you buy it you'll find a set of cards which you can print off and laminate as I have done uh, from using the numbers from 0 to 10 also included is this set of emoji cards which are great for sanitizing and a set of word cards for the numbers so you can simply use these as matching words to numbers you can use them to match smiley faces to numbers you can also use them in a variety of games for the little ones it's sometimes hard for them to hold cards in their hands so you can use it as a stem challenge i've just used these letter lego blocks to create a stand for them to hold their cards in now to play fish simply the traditional game now i've chosen the emoji cards and the number cards so each player gets five cards the top card is turned over like that you look through your cards to see if you have any pairs and in this case i don't so i might say to my friend um because i don't have one here today do you have a four and so they will hand over that card to me i can match it with my emoji set of four and i have a pair it is now my friend's turn my friend's going to ask me for a number and in this case she's going to oh she's got a pair there you go she's going to ask me for the number five which i have in my hand so i give that to her if you should run out of cards you oops sorry shouldn't turn the top card over um if you should run out of cards choose five more and at the end of the game when all the cards are gone the winner is the person who has the most pairs this game can also be played by using a mix of either the emojis and the numbers the word word cards and the numbers or if you like throw all three sets in for a bit of a challenge and in that case um, kids have to make three of a kind and not just pairs okay with this game each player gets a set of cards from zero through to nine okay so give them a mixing up the aim of this game is a place value game now you can play with the hundreds tens and ones chart you can play with the tens and ones thousands hundreds tens and ones which are all included in the kit so how this game works you can play it a variety of ways the way i'm going to show you first is we're going to play a game where you need to make the highest number that you can with your cards so the first person is going to go they've turned over a nine whoop no they haven't they've turned over a six because with these the ipad number is at the bottom so they have to then decide where they're going to place that number so they're going to put it in the sixes this person has turned over a three not a great card it's going to go in the ones hmm five okay i'm hoping that there's going to be a big card for the hundreds okay zero is not real flash one okay so even though this person has turned over some low playing cards they are looking pretty good if they can get a number bigger than a one okay so in order to get a counter or whatever you're going to use as the reward the both players need to be able to read their number 403 and 165 and i like the kids to keep a tally of the numbers that they play and we play the best out of 10 games so you can play that until all the cards are used up now another version of this game you can say make the largest odd number make the smallest even number um whatever you like so let's play a game where you have to make the smallest even number to be the winner so again turn over the rule 
Now, kids really have to think, if it's an even number, I cannot put this in the ones column. So I'm going to, I've got to go small, so I'm going to put that in the tens. Again, this person's turned over an odd number, so it cannot go in the ones. There's a lot of discussion that can be um, had around this game. Okay, so I've got a two. Now I've got to make a low number, but it's also got to be even. So I have to make the choice. Am I going to, I'm going to go for the even choice and hope that I get a pretty low number for the hundreds. Okay, so again, turned over an even number that's going to go in the ones. Whoa, sorry. I'll slide that one back in. So three, that's looking pretty good. 300's pretty low. 638 plays 352. This player here would um, get a counter. You can play um, the first person to get 10 counters. Um, at the end, now each round you can either tally the difference between the scores, or if you're working with older kids, you can work out your total tally for the 10 rounds and then work out the difference to see who won. So if you have a student who may be struggling with place value, you can consolidate this activity again by incorporating um, multi-base blocks so that they're actually having to make the numbers. Probably not when children at the four digit place value stage would they need this, but definitely if you were playing with just tens and ones and you were trying to work out the difference or your total incorporating the blocks into the game is a really great idea. So if you're like me and you're not a great fan of using counters as playing pieces because you know they're not all that exciting I've recently discovered that um, buttons uh, I've been buying buttons on eBay are a really great alternative for the little ones. The other thing I like to use are mini rubbers. Um, they do sometimes go walking because they're a favourite with the kids. And the other things that have been a flash hit that really also need to keep an eye on are these little guys, little squinkies. They are so cute. Kids love them, although they can take a long time deciding which squinky they want to use to play with. So the last game I'm going to share to you is a game that's based on the TV show Words and Numbers where you're given a target number and in this case, because we're using numbers between 0 and 9, you are going to, um, in fact I'd take the 0 out, um, you're going to choose numbers less than 200 and children need to use their knowledge of order of operations to play this game. So. Our target number is 49 in this instance. It doesn't have to be 49, it can be any number that you choose. And these are the cards that have randomly been selected. Okay, so I need to use each of these cards once and once only um, to come up with the target number. So in this case, I'm going to do seven plus three, which will give me 10. You can see where I'm going. <laughs> I didn't wanna make it too hard for myself. 10 times 4 will give me 40, and 40 plus 9 will give me 49. Now that was an easy example, but bonus points to anyone that can come up with a different way of coming to the number 49, for instance. Okay, in this case I could have gone 7 times 9 is 63. Uh, four times three is 12, plus two is 14. So 14 from 63 should give us 49. So it's really good to come up with some different strategies, discuss them around the class and see how you go. It's a great game, really good game.